So I immediately came back into our little uh, hovel our here, hovel. and I realized that it's... Boy, it's stupid. <laughs> no, it's br it's brilliant, and it's beautiful, and it gets... Features. Join me in the boat. <laughs> what kind of psycho floods their bedroom and puts a boat in it? I don't know. The dog is staring at us like, you fucking Someone... idiots, what is this? I mean, you could send video footage of this shit, like, to your doctor when you're petitioning for more meds. <laughs> like, look what I did. What kind of psycho? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, if well, people I, keep I cleaning it up and I keep that, putting it back. <laughs> yeah, I researched this one uh, drug that seems kind of interesting, you know. Uh, medical marijuana, I hear it helps a lot with Minecraft builds. <laughs> huh, weird. Yeah. What do you think? Think that that can be swung my way? Yeah, probably, right? <laughs> uh, we have a QA question, Keith. That's their problem. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a goal for today in mind? Um, I, I, had, well, I, had, I had one thing in mind. We managed to get the the shit up to level thirty. Or, I mean, we managed to unlock level thirty enchantments, and we enchanted a sword. Uh, what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to get a little bit more diamond shit, um, and then from there, uh, I think we're basically tapped out of content that I know anything about. That being said, I am aware that there is some sort of weird world that you keep alluding to. Yeah, I so want, I gotta so, figure we'll be heading there. So for today, I wanted to make an evil demon room. Okay. I wanted to make like tunnel down below our base, and which I kind of already did anyway with that tunnel I made, and make okay. like a little like evil satanic room with like lava fixtures that are like under glass so it's tasteful and safe what, but also this sinister for looking fun or like is it'll, there it, purpose? it'll be functional but i want it to look cool okay that fair. just randomly plopping shit everywhere okay that seems like an mm, idea you don't know my style you don't know my style randomly plopping shit everywhere is the way that i handle shit in general mm -hmm. i'm sure you do uh, I figured wow. I'd go, go to the bottom of the staircase, make there. like a cool room for ourselves. Okay, well I'm gonna go diamond hunting, which yep. is gonna be real boring. So, uh, if you're out, uh, take a take a bucket with you, or make a bucket. Why? You give us some lava. You want lava? Our, yeah, we need lava for lava, our, we need lava for our demon room. Okay, I can get you a lava father. Yes, son. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, daddy. Daddy sounds fine. Father <laughs> is weird. Father? <laughs> I can get you some lava, father. <laughs> will, will you lava me if I give you fa lava, father? <laughs> will, you la will you lather me la 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 lather me in lava? That's hard to say, father. <laughs> <laughs> lather oh, me, father. Lather me. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Oh, jeez. Oh. Happy Pride Month. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Hello, person who's never been to the stream before. I'm sorry. No, you're not. Okay. You've never been sorry. <laughs> Fair. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> forgot about that clause in my contract with myself. Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, so the, to the person who asked the Q&A question, uh, you heard Keith. It's your problem, dude. Go ahead, we ain't answering. it's fine. Huh? It's fine. No. We just were doing a thing. Yeah, good. Go, do it. No, nope. Why, why, <laughs> why am I, what? I, do I need to reverse, reverse, reverse psychology you? I don't know how many of <laughs> reverses that was. I have to math it out. Ooh, lava. There's not enough Uno cards in the universe to reverse my psychi psychology. No, it's your turn. No, it's your turn. No, it's my, your, my turn. <laughs> Bird, you realize that Uno isn't a one-player game. No. <laughs> We've there got to make craft cards in Uno. Uno. What are you doing? <laughs> 
Not if you play it wrong. <laughs> I play my draw for wild in defense position. It gets 300 uh, wild blue points. And um, the number two on it increases to a three. <laughs> what? Some really good card. Some really car good card text there. <laughs> And the number two turns into a number three. <laughs> <laughs> Just, it's you know, it's not like there's like mechanics like they're being really, like really economical with their card space by you saying number seven times. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's no like flavor text on Uno cards like like the ancient wizard Andros released two <laughs> on the, the planes of Uno. Would it be better or worse if people could do plays? <laughs> They're like, well, you mean like combining whole... synergies of all their different cards and they're explaining <laughs> their turn and everything, like in all the other card games? Uh, the answer to that is absolutely hell yes. When I have I the pot to... of need, the <laughs> the, the pot of the... need, the pot of greed. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm I'm making things up. Oh, I, I'm, but I'm bad at it. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Like, like, with the pot of need, his libido goes up 17 points, which has synergy with the bottom of my deck when I go in the back door, and I don't know. Why is this so full of innuendo? <laughs> wow, the pot of need is thirsty. <laughs> Damn. The, the thirsty pot of... The, the pot of need has an effect on it called thirsty, which has an effect <laughs> on other cards. That... <laughs> Oh, jeez. It'd be like level 17, demon, italics, thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> and that's like the modifier that means different yeah. things based on what you play it with. Uh, you may have played your pot of thirsty need, uh, but I, 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 I want to make counter it. Part of me totally wants to make a really stupid card game. <laughs> I've always made, wanted Just to make stupid of the, card games. the card synergy effects and nonsense. Yeah. It's great. You may have played the Pot of Thirsty uh, Need, but I can uh, give it a nice guy modifier to negate <laughs> any chances it ever has of getting its dick wet. <laughs> no! <laughs> I activate my friend zone trap card. <laughs> <laughs> By giving it a katana, I increase its attack power, but decrease its ability to get oh, no. <laughs> its dick wet. Oh. Uh. <laughs> It gets a plus two modifier from its Tinder profile, but a minus two from its fedora. <laughs> uh. You read this magic card, it turns out the entire relationship was actually in your head. <laughs> and you were projecting affection where none existed. Uh, nice. nice play, kid. <laughs> but I anticipated Teleports your move. behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I have the uh, thirsty pot. <laughs> so stupid. Just teleport behind you and summon waifu. I play dark magician girl. <laughs> dark magician girl diamond cure. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's like wait wait is this is this fucking is this the uno what's going on at this point <laughs> it's like are these are these hand-drawn why is dark magician girl a four what the hell is this <laughs> why is it a four oh in uno because <laughs> they're uno cards still <laughs> holy shit <laughs> wow that's we're not gonna top that that's the first 10 minutes and this this playthrough is over <laughs> dude i'm hunting that's for the, diamonds we gotta the, keep going that is the end of today's potential <laughs> <laughs> good night everybody what's, what's the replacement of like the mana system in, in, the, in this weird <laughs> Dating sim Uno card game. Oh no. That's also weeby as shit. Uh, senpai points. <laughs> wow. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I play Dark Yandere Girl. <laughs> I, have to t I have to tap three etchy land cards. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> 
we need a resource system for this yeah. game. <laughs> so it's like the different uh, anime girl personality words are each like land <laughs> resources. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you can choose to play Tsundere's, Yandere's. <laughs> <laughs> Every dare is, is like a magic. Every turn you don't a play resource. a card, you charge up your V points for the super attack. <laughs> Fucking V points. Oh, I, God. I play my V card. Can only be played <laughs> once per game. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally called a V card. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> oh, jeez. Every deck has to have one. <laughs> it's it's mandatory. It's just a Every big wait until you draw card. it. Like it's fucking what the old lady game that has the old lady card you don't want to draw old or maid. whatever. Old mate. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, without like losing your V card or playing your V card, it's in just somewhere in your whatever. deck, and it changes the game yeah. on how you play it yeah, once you draw say, it. It unlocks like level three evolutions or some shit. <laughs> Until then, like, uh, like uh, Marty, your... are you watching? Where's your tabletop designer friends? We need to get <laughs> them on the phone. Oh, we, need, we need to get this beta launched by next week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, believe me, there's gonna be a oh. lot of betas playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> won that round, but I'm gonna play post this to r slash nice guys. <laughs> Take this. I gained that I one gain... time code guy. <laughs> Sticking to the I guy that like he, he found the 10 seconds karma. where we don't talk and was like, wow, look at the what great banter here. <laughs> and, like the one moment of silence in our 11 hours of video. <laughs> Wait, what are you talking about? Uh, there the was thing a thing that happened? Yeah. <laughs> There's a point where we're like silent for five seconds and he's like, wow, great banter, guys. Hey, fuck you, man. <laughs> I think that this more than makes up for it. <laughs> anyway, that guy can be a card and he can have zero attack power. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing he can hurt is feelings and not very well. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I'm farming. Oh. <sighs> uh. I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> like that was that was too heavy of a start. <laughs> I can upgrade my Yandere card and my Tsundere <laughs> card by playing uh, to, to tier two by playing a um, a ship card. Uh. They're now in my fan fiction. <laughs> You've been pulled in by the gravity of my fan fiction. <laughs> uh, I don't know what life points would represent in this game. <laughs> oh boy, Chad points. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> hey, Diamond! Yay! This was all worth it. Oh, a couple of them. Oh, a lot of them. Oh, man. Oh, my inventory is full. I guess I'm not picking him up. <laughs> we need to get Steve Jackson on the phone to turn this into like a munchkin game. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Want to hear a riddle? Yeah, let's go ahead and change the subject. I think we've uh, tapped this one as far as anybody would want us to go. Are you going to tell us a riddle? Oh, somebody is. Oh. I thought they were saying they want to hear one a riddle, regulars. like they're demanding one from no, you. No, no. One of my riddle regulars, me this I, uh... bird. <laughs> I won them over with my Sekudo gameplay, and I guess they <laughs> stuck around to uh, tell me riddles in Minecraft. Yay? <laughs> yeah. What normally hangs at a man's thigh and pokes at holes that it often poked before? Huh. I'm gonna say... 
I have no clue. Hang on, don't answer. Or <laughs> you can answer. Um, I'm gonna say <clears throat> his vagina. <laughs> 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 really brought it home. <laughs> I couldn't think of anything else. <laughs> oh, the answer is a key. That makes sense. Although yep. I don't think keys often hang in a man's thigh unless they're like a cartoon jailer from a western. That's like one of those. It's one of those trick questions, like the. Uh... It's a riddle. Of course, it's a trick question. Well, yeah. I just mean like it's like that when people are like. Uh, what is the human organ that grows to 100 times its size? It's the, the iris. Brain? Oh, the iris. I see. I saw that in a bad movie once. I don't remember which one. So, uh... <clears throat> there's this podcast that I've been watching recently called My Dad Wrote a Porno. It's a couple years old. I just discovered it. It's amazing. So what it is, is uh, it's like this writer, um, his, uh, his dad decided to get into writing too. And uh, he didn't tell his son like what the genre of the book that he was writing was. So he just like uh, came home one day, like on Christmas vacation or something like that to visit his dad. And his dad was like, hey, check out this book that I wrote. <laughs> and he started reading it being like, oh, this is awesome. I get to see like what my dad uh, was like working on. Like, this is a really fun little bonding experience. And like, he didn't realize until like two chapters in that it was erotica. <laughs> and it was like, un it was dad it's erotica. So, it's so bad. Um, <laughs> it's full of like just some of the cringiest sex scenes and like descriptions of like, what women want, like, find sexually, like, pleasing, I have ever heard of. And so he, it's just him reading uh, this book along with some friends, and uh, some choice quotations are things like, her nipples grew to be the size of the three-inch rivets that held the whole of the mighty Titanic. And Whoa. stuff like that. <laughs> Whoa. It, I was just like, it's not a metaphor if it contains like an actual unit of measurement inside <laughs> the metaphor. That's ultra specific. I know. I have, <laughs> but like, you can't call something a metaphor if it's like just a measurement. That inspires like follow up questions. Yeah. Which ones? <laughs> Which ones do you have? I just, what's this guy's background? Like, what's he studying? What's what's the, what's the deal with this really specific callback? Oh, he's apparently uh, retired and just doing this, <laughs> like, for the fuck of it. He's just really and, into nautical stuff. Yeah. It's just, That's uh, just his jam. It just, just felt like writing a porno. Don't harsh and his you know buds, I mean, Steve. Everyone needs a hobby, and, you know... Buzz harsher. <laughs> And, you know, I've never written a porno, so, like, if he, he's a more accomplished writer than I am. <laughs> In a way. The pod... The... What? In a way, I suppose. Yeah, well, the podcast got, like, two million downloads or something like that. So, way, way, way more people have heard of his work than <laughs> mine. That's actually not true. Probably the sum total of, it, of views across, like, every video I've been in, not necessarily ones I've made, of course, but, like, just been in, probably exceeds, like, a couple million views. It gets up there. Yeah. Like, it's generally weird for me to realize that, like, oh, right, across my channel, I just... I, oh, burning to death! Oh, stop burning to death! <laughs> that's a, that's stop the saddest achievement Stop burning to, to death! Oops. <laughs> How long does burning to death last? Please stop burning to death. Uh, it can does it just go forever? What the fuck? It can it can easily kill you. Oh, there yeah. goes my 30 levels. Uh, why did I you use them? I finally died. Oh, man. Well, because you have to be level 30 and then spend 3. You have to maintain a minimum of 30 to keep doing the level 30 enchants. Oh, right. That sucks. Wow. You're down to 15 now. Fucking, you just infinitely burn. Jesus. Yeah, basically. All right, time to install a yeah. fucking water park next door. 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> Why does it work that way? <laughs> Why? Because <laughs> uh, you're supposed to carry a bucket. It's like basic Minecraft gear. Avi. <laughs> Pretending to know Minecraft. Obvi. <laughs> <laughs> you wrote a fanfic called fanfic called Bird slash Keith. Um Well <laughs> I'm uh, writing it how right big no. <laughs> how how big do Keith's nipples get in units of Titanic rivets? <laughs> I must know. What else? Found more diamonds, by the way. Found more diamonds. <clears throat> I found my death. It's been a while. Oh, uh, yeah, well. Uh, what did it say to you? Uh, what did death say to me? Yeah. I heard the weird sound again. I don't like it. Don't make the weird sound at me, game. Don't do this. What's the weird sound the game making? When you when you go, when you're deep down, it goes or whatever. Oh, I thought it was asking if you wanted to join a ska band with it. Nah, <laughs> that's, that's the weirdest sound of all. The the worst sound in the world is hearing somebody say, "Hey, man, do you play bass?" And you're like, "No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I've never even heard of bass. God, no, <laughs> I don't know what a bass is." Leave me alone. I swear to God. I swear to God. I swear to God. And then you just wake up in a cold sweat and you're like, oh, thank God. It was just a dream. It was just, it was just a dream. <laughs> <clears throat> and then you look down and you realize that you're holding a bass guitar in your hands <laughs> and you were actually in band rehearsal. You've actually always played bass. <laughs> and you're like, no. <laughs> 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 you look in the mirror and you're like, I don't remember having a ponytail. What is this? Who am I? <laughs> what have you Why done have to I me? Not shaved in days. Where's my wife? <laughs> oh, jeez. <clears throat> like a wife? You mean ex-wife, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to all the bass players out there, let me know if the stereotyping you is accurate. Um, that's pretty much. <laughs> I need to. I'll, I'll I mean, I, to I think I'm. My, I think I'm pretty close. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> trying to work on my um, insult game. So there you are. Uh. Must. Slowly hollow out room, and then die of <laughs> lava. <laughs> you still working on uh, creating your like hell room or whatever you call yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. I gotta hollow out like a big space, and then I gotta like design it. Ooh. Try to make like a cool thing. So which far, might be I hard. found eleven diamonds. Yeah, that's decent. I'd like to get maybe mm, probably thirty to. 40 in total. I'm not entirely sure how many we're gonna really need Eventually, we're probably gonna want like diamond and arm diamond armor and stuff as we probably get to like fighting endgame style mobs Yep, I assume it gets pretty challenging towards the towards the end. I don't know Okay, because in my real in my normal minecraft experiences. I just devolve into building cool stuff all the time <laughs> and I never okay. and, and pretty much never progressed Mainly because there wasn't necessarily even that much to do back then. That's true, yeah. But I just liked existing in Minecraft, so I would, like, expand my home and make, like, wonders and shit. Ooh, wonders. Like, black and white or something. Uh, I believe in you. You can poop that turd out, There we go. Poop it. Nope, it's poop fine. It. I made a... I made a... I made a... a Dookie. Good. <laughs> I made a hand washing station to put out the fires. Ah, okay. Are you filling the room with lava and it's like killing you? Cover that shit in glass, yo. I would like to. No, this is just <laughs> the lava that's already here as I'm hollowing it out. Oh. I'm just trying to expand the room and lava's leaking in through the walls. I'm like, give me a break. I'm not ready for you <laughs> yet. I'll call you when I'm ready. Wait for your cue. Working with now. amateurs here. 
all right, uh, Gerard Butler. <laughs> Wait, who did that? What? The what guy who was who, who, who like, oh, what was it? Oh, Christian good for you. Bale? Yeah, yeah, that guy. Yeah, that's Christian Bale. Okay, that's Gerard Butler. No. I assume he's a lovely human being. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Isn't he the guy that had a weird South Park joke where he was going around the world punching people out? That was Russell Crowe. Never mind. That was he, Russell Crowe. Who seems like the same person. <laughs> That's because Russell Crowe got into controversies in like... When was it? Like the 80s? For like punching a journalist in the face. And South Park was like, this is a hot button issue. We better get on this in like yeah, 2013. I, don't know why they did that. I really don't know why they did that. But It's because hey, they're it old now. really fucking hilarious. They started the show when they were young and now they're old people. So they make old people jokes. It's, what on, it's what's on their mind. That's true. I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> but I think it was kind of stupid. Yeah. 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 Let's go back to talking about the the card the virginity game. weeb Uno game. <laughs> <laughs> or not. I don't care. Nah, god damn it. So much fucking water. I don't know if I can process anything more about that. <laughs> uh, One, two. I didn't choose the weeb life. While you were playing Minecraft, I was watching Boko No Hero Academia. No. One wider than it is long. <laughs> I have to fix this. All right, I'm out of cobblestone pickaxes, so I'm going to come back and deposit diamonds and then see what you're up yeah. to. I've mostly been digging. There's a sequel to the Bird Keith fanfic, and it's uh, called Lava Slash Keith. So there you are. <laughs> I'm hot <laughs> for you. There's a new no, man in my lava. life, and its name is Basalt. Uh, I have nothing to contribute. <laughs> it's our new podcast called Pillow Basalt Talk. Oh, uh, it's a really, <laughs> real specific geology puns. You fucking come at me. I guess. Oh, pillow basalt. That's the type of thing. Yeah, that's the nice. pillow basalt's real. So I'm like, pillow talk. Yeah. Yeah. I can do this. I can make this work. Yeah. Okay. Make it work. Nothing sexier than hard, rough things that kind of just skin you rubbing on each other. <laughs> oh, yeah. Great. Oh, pumice me, baby. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm exfoliating. I'm exfoliating. <laughs> There's nothing casual about these calluses. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some normie calluses over there. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Why though? Why, why? <laughs> why though? We had such a nice thing going earlier, and now, and now <laughs> this. So what happens? We try to expand on one thing forever instead of coming up with new things. You get to season ten, and everyone's like, "Man, I'm a different person from when I started this thing." But it can't be that. That can't be the reason why I don't like it anymore. It must be the show's fault. Yeah, and uh, we all know how Ruby goes. <laughs> Ruby's not that old. Uh, it's on the internet. It's already old. <laughs> it, it, it ages like milk. <laughs> Everything on the internet ages in fast forward. Fact. Hey, want to know a really fun fact? Is it fun? Uh, Is it really? Yeah. Um, the outside of my apartment smells like a fucking fire. I don't know what's going on, but it smells horrendous right now. Yay? Yeah. Yay. Why does it smell like that? I mean, I used to live near like a meat rending facility, so I'm used oh. to outside not smelling great. I have a, a question. <laughs> what the hell does it mean to rend meat? It doesn't sound even <laughs> remotely pleasant. <laughs> to rend. <laughs> Baby, you and I, tonight, 
We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna read. 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 <laughs> uh, I'm gonna rend you like an animal. 